Hi there, this is Fred, FR5ED, 5 is silent, and I'm here with a beer review. Well, that's pretty much all I come here for, and thank you for joining me. This today is Diamond Knot Industrial IPA. Um, I've got a, uh, oh gosh, I guess you call it a bomber, it's a 1.6 ounces. Uh, here you go, it's a large bottle is what it is. This is by the Diamond Knot Brewery. Uh, it's an Imperial, or a double IPA. Oh good, it's a large volume of an Imperial IPA. It's, well it's only 7, I say, only 7.9%. Um, there are no hard and fast rules, but typically 8% and above is where the ABV definition of an I, a double IPA starts. We're not going to split hairs here. I don't think I'll notice a 0.1% difference. It's rated 97% overall on RateBeer.com and an 81 in style, and that's after 268 reviews. Um, on Beer Advocate, it's rated an 86. That's after 85 reviews. It is, uh, I mentioned 7.9% IBUs or 75. Okay. Uh, the commercial description says, essentially the same recipe as the IPA, so apparently Diamond Knot has an IPA. Uh, but with approximately 25% more grain and three and a half times the hops. Wow. And it is 100% Columbus hops. All right. This will be interesting. <clears throat> it's going to be especially interesting since I didn't bring my glass. I'll be right back. Ready? Here I go. Could you tell I was gone? I've got a glass now. That tells you I was gone. Okay. Let's open this up. And uh, again, there's the label. Just so I don't know if you, I forgot to move this around because I don't have a monitor. I can't tell what you're seeing. That's the label. Still fairly cold. You know, I didn't do anything to uh, warm. Oh, it's very light coming out of the bottle. Let's see how that ends up pouring. Okay, good. We've got a good head on there. Wow, good two and a half, three finger head. It's a lighter color. Wow, I can smell it from here. I won't get into that yet. Um, it's a, uh, you know, kind of an orangey honey color. Um, you know, definitely a little hazy, and that's fine with me. I don't know if it's bottle conditioned, but it's still hazy. They may not filter it. Let's give it a smell. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, I like the fact that it's balanced. You're getting the malty, uh, biscuity smell of the, you know, of that component, you know, the grain component. As far as the hops, <clears throat> it's it's pineapple-y and melon-like. Not getting any much grassy floral notes. Not really any pine. Wow, I'm really having to work this. I'm not getting any citrusy. Boy, that head is hanging in there. Look at that. It's for a double IPA. I am not getting lots of uh, hop aroma uh, in, in, in the overwhelming pine, citrus, pineapple, melon, grass, floral categories. In fact, the aroma is kind of dying off there. I don't know if it's because that thick head is preventing it. I'm going to go ahead and taste it. I'll come back to the aroma in a minute. Okay. I'm going to do like the wine uh, sommeliers rep, uh, recommend. Three sips before you judge it. I don't know what to think yet. Let me give a couple more sips and I'll let you know. <clears throat> Okay, it's starting to manifest itself. One more sip and I'll, I'll comment on this. <clears throat> I don't know what to comment. Um, there's definitely some malt, bread, biscuit, uh, presence there. In fact, that's a very strong foundation.
and someday I'm going to be trained to the point where I can tell you everything I'm smelling and tasting. This is kind of new to me. This one is, is different. It's 100% they say Columbus hops. Yeah, it's 100% Columbus hops and maybe I'm just not familiar enough with Columbus hops. <clears throat> Maybe that's it. I may be taken to school right now on what Columbus hops do. Um, no pine that I can taste, no real citrus that I can smell or taste. Whatever the hops are doing here, there's definite hop bitterness. It said 75 IBUs. I couldn't tell you if it's 50 or 100. They're present. They're not as intense as some, some doubles. Right now, I have a keg of Sierra Nevada Optimum double IPA in my kegerator, and uh, I think it's 100 IBUs. I can't remember. It's very present. Those, those, those hops, the bitterness, are very present. This is not as much, and it makes sense if it's 75. Anyway, um, I'm just trying to... I, I can't pinpoint any more flavors or aromas for you. I'm at the end of my expertise right here. But let me give you one more taste and one more impression before we end. This is not analysis. This is simply personal preference. Would I get it again? Would I not? How would I? What's my impression just as something to drink as far as a craft beer? That's where this last sip is going to go. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> here's my summary. I can appreciate it as a craft beer, as an IPA. It's allegedly a, a double or an imperial IPA. It is not one I would probably grab again. It, there, I, I just, it's, it's an unfamiliar flavor and aroma. For, I'm, I'm narrowly focused, I admit that. Uh, my preference is West Coast American IPAs and double IPAs. I can name a dozen of them out there. I'm going to do it right now. Um, this just, wow, this just is so different from those, the ones I've had that I like. Um, I'm, all I'm saying is, and obviously you should try this, Industrial India Pale Ale by Diamond Nut Brewing Company. Try it. You may love it. I'm not trying to get people to like or dislike anything. This is simply my impression. This is not one I would probably get again at this point in my experience. Uh, I'm going to uh, drink the rest of this bottle, and I'll, and, you know, I'm not going to enjoy it like I would, you know, some of the others that I love so well. But I'm not going to pour it down the drain either. So anyway, give it a try. This is Fred, FR5ED, over and out.